the three major orientations to the world and to our place within it. The overcoming of the world, the humanization of the world, and the struggle with the world are radically different. And yet, they share much in common. First, they all attempt to respond to the incurable flaws in human existence by either denying them or presenting some compensation for them. They refuse fully to recognize the force and the reality of these defects in our condition. Second, these three spiritual orientations desanctify nature and organize in our spiritual life a dialectic between imminence and transcendence, between the indwelling of the divine in the world and the overcoming of the world by the divine. Even the humanization of the world recognizes the element of transcendence in the sanctity of the personal and the interpersonal, distinguished from every other feature of reality. The third shared characteristic of these spiritual orientations is that they all rejected the ethic that had been predominant when they emerged, the ethic of the fighting and ruling classes, the ethic of martial valor, of pride, of self-assertion. And they affirmed instead the superiority of an ethic of universal and sacrificial benevolence. A fourth common characteristic of these spiritual orientations is that they deny that the divisions within humanity go all the way down. Instead, they affirm that these divisions are relatively shallow in comparison to our common humanity. A question remains open. Is this denial simply a matter of redescribing our situation in the world? Or does it require the world to be changed? Is it enough for the slave master and the slave to recognize their common humanity? Or do they need to suppress the institution of slavery? The fifth shared trait of these spiritual orientations is that they present the believer with a two-sided ticket. One side of the ticket is a license to escape from the world from the nightmare of history, from society as it is now organized, into some different reality. A reality, if not reshaped, at least reinterpreted and redescribed. But the other side of the ticket is an invitation to transform the world. This ambiguity the license to escape, and the invitation to change has never been fully resolved in the history of any of these three major spiritual traditions. 